Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. So, all right. So yesterday I got a chance to check out the movie The Blackening, uh, directed by Tim Story. And I watched the movie um, basically from beginning to end, even, uh, you know, post credits. Just in case there was a couple of surprises and, you know, I went in there to watch this movie with an open eye. I didn't want to come across as, you know, not having a good sense of humor and being extremely sensitive or, you know, basically naive to what was going on in the movie. And I watched the movie and the movie runs about maybe an hour and 35 minutes it's not a very long film. And um oh by the way, shout out to you know Tim Story for making one of the characters be from, you know, my hometown of Oakland, California. But uh never <laughs> nevertheless. Hmm. What can I say? Like I said before, this is gonna be one of them movies either you're gonna be uh uh offended by it or you may like it and me myself it made some points about certain issues that go in the community about the whole how black you are and what is the definition of blackness and you know ostracizing you know black people because they may have a difference of opinion when it comes to even any and everything up into politics you know and music and TV and film, you know, because one of the characters, you know, <laughs> they was questioning his blackness because he said he never saw Friday before and he voted for Trump twice. And, you know, there's been this thing. If you support Trump, you like some super sellout coon, which I think is a, a, absurd <laughs> because the funny part about it is the Democrats or the Demi Dummies damn near had the same view as Republicans. And all it is, is a difference of who hides their racism better. Or how do you distinguish the Democrats' racism towards blacks versus the Republicans' racism towards blacks? So at the end of the day, you can't trust neither party. And I've made that very clear. I'm not a, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. But the problem is the Democrats have deceived um, basically the black community more than the Republicans have. And that's just fact, but I don't want to make this about politics. Um, basically is basically the tale of some college friends that basically, I guess, have a reunion, you know, and they meet up at a cabin just to have fun. And they basically dis discuss certain things. They never said what college they went to, but more than likely it was some college probably in Atlanta or something probably some uh H you, you know what I'm saying H you you know what I'm saying um uh, HBC more than likely but they all get together and basically um a turn up events happen when two of their friends turn up uh missing and then they have to play this game called the black name where they have to answer certain type of questions. <laughs> and it plays into a lot of racial stereotypes and tropes about black people. And that's pretty much the whole premise of the movie. And basically the whole thing about who's going to get off first, because, you know, if you watch the, the history of horror movies, they off the black people first. So, and it, like I said, it plays into a lot of stereotypes about black people holding weapons sideways and all that kind of stuff, which ever since Menace to Society came out, I really can't stand that, too, because I, I, I can't stand that people make it look like all black people hold guns sideways and all that kind of stuff. And it's just ridiculous. And I, to be honest with you, I think that's played out now. That was just a little side joke that happened with minister society and then basically that stuck with us which we got to get out of that and i'm gonna tell you guys now if anybody ever been to a shooting range with me 
I got skills. X line killer. X world combat sports. <laughs> so, I'm I'm just saying. So, like I said before, if you don't like the film because of the subject matter, I understand if you like, okay, I kind of dug it. Like I said, I'm kind of somewhere in between. I didn't think it was the most offensive movie that I ever saw. But I do think it's some some things that make you question and you can have a conversation about it. Especially at the end of the film when it's revealed who, you know, who orchestrated everything. And basically they were just saying some stuff about, you know, uh how we look at each other and what is the definition of blackness now if you ain't black you ain't gonna understand what i'm saying and to be honest with you i don't want you to and i basically don't want your fucking opinion about blackness especially if you're not black yourself real talk uh this ain't really a conversation for you uh outsiders or mixed company whatever you want to call it this is really a conversation among us black folks so your non-black opinion isn't warranted or welcome on this particular video but just wanted to put that out there and if you get mad i don't give a fuck so but nevertheless um uh my rating on a scale of one to ten i probably would give it a i would give it a six so that's a little bit above uh, mediocre. So there you have it. That's my review of the movie. It's your boy Town Biz. I'm out.